What was your name again, dude? But to be honest, who can blame Peter for celebrating? Who can blame Peter Throughout the campaign, you've heard us say that advance are not a political party. A party is what you have when things are going well. When the country is suffering, you don't need a party. You need a team. A team that can change things. Our government could learn something from that. Day one of a new future. Day one a better, of a new future. future. A better, fairer So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except so for the rich. For them, the for them, the party's they over. They shouldn't be celebrating. They should be putting, their, they should be putting their shitty pants on and up in their dusty checkbooks. Again, colourfully put. Again, not inaccurate. Before we came out here to address the nation, we used this is actually a lot harder than it looks, guys. <clears throat> There's so much going on. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. you know this sort of problem. You, you rather you don't, because the likes of you and me are not welcome in their gated community. Tomorrow we will be introducing a sweeping reform of the tax system in this country. No more hiding wealth offshore. No more hiding wealth. Funds or creative accounting, a simpler, fairer, unavoidable theft of tax law. So all you bastard pups. Oh God, he likes that word a lot. I've got nowhere to hide. We revoked your passport. We revoked your passport. You want him back? You want to leave like you threatened before the election? Is he talking about Brexit? You're gonna pay up. You're gonna pay up. Advance are going to turn this country from Advance a nation of warring individuals. I love on screen when they're all watching. To properly fund health and education. To properly fund to raise health the living and education. standards of us to all. Raise the living the pundits of us said we'd have to raise pundits. billions. Raise you'll see. What's pundits? I don't know what pundits actually mean. Oh, for goodness sake. To the people who pay you a pittance to serve them drinks in their private clubs. The people whose children you raise. Who would actually go to their own election speech? Swearing like this. This is so bad. Oh, then again, it's politicians, so. Oh, they're, one, they're moving on, number one. In the hands of the people who created it. In the hands of the people who created it. Today. It yes. It today. ends today. Yes. It ends and tomorrow today. we'll start making it fair again. We'll start making Just it Just like we promised we would. And in soothing, ladies and gents. And in soothing, ladies and gents. I can't argue with that. I can't argue with that. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Well, interesting acceptance speech there from the leaders of advance. And our apologies for the fruity language. And hopefully we got that bleeped out for you in time. If not, someone's going to be in trouble. I'm not in trouble. I did good. As the country braces itself for new government, that's all from us this evening at the National Nightly News. We'll be back tomorrow with full coverage of the first day under advance. I'm Jeremy Dalton. Have a peaceful I'm Jeremy Dalton. Have a peaceful And we're out. Right, looks like you've got it now. Thanks for real, mate. I've got to go. Ferry's about to leave. Uh, won't be ferry? Job's yours, mate. Good luck. Yeah. This is some weird fever dream. Am I dying now? Yes, you're dying. I'll see you tomorrow night. We're not coming for a drink. No, I've got a date. Lucky you. Try not to get murdered. Try not to get murdered. What is that about? Oh, 
Sorry, guys, I couldn't resist getting a screenshot of that. Perfection. Oh, I never actually got great in high school, so this counts. Terror text? Where's in more info for that? I played one ad, but two. Oh, that was the last one, wasn't it? No, that was the first one. That was the first one. It was the first one I played a little bit. No, wait. Ooh. <laughs> Broke ass pool. Oh. Oh, thanks. Thanks. L love you too, voiceover dude. Ah, oh, they love me. They love me. Brilliant. Well, I did. It was very confusing trying to edit, keeping an eye on the screens, and actually doing everything. So let's see how this came out. On channel one, at seven o'clock, it's the semi-final of the quotation game, and it's a nail-biting quiz tonight as a team of nuclear physicists take on four old ladies from East Greenwich. Why does that make me think of the Big Bang Theory? Also, yes, Bazinga. The shape of now, which tonight looks at the history of the knee-length sock and its importance during. <laughs> <laughs> that is just way too funny. I don't know why that's making me laugh. Oh, sorry, Jim. Oh, it's way too funny. Hope for more hostile controversy as global mega corporation Remington Sisk buys Honest Andy's. Let's see how well I do with the actual editing. Sorry, Jeremy. This is way too funny for me. <laughs> it's so funny. This uh, this is just a, so brilliant. Welcome to Crazy Neil. Oh no, that's Crazy Neil. Wow, that advert goes on forever, doesn't it? Back to the national oh! Evening news. I'm surprised that didn't pick up. From the shock election winners advance, but first off, our own culture reporter, Megan Wolf, is here with a star of both stage and mm. screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture correspondent. And today... I like that name, Megan Wolf. I really like that Shakespeare thing. to the shock bot films. I'm very excited to be joined today by none other than Lawrence Blundercat. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, my dear. I do hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is among the greatest joys of my life. <laughs> May I say having you here with us is among ours. Uh, I can't watch it. He's such a... I don't like him. Okay. Rushes? I don't know what that means, but okay. Apparently, he's been drinking since lunchtime. Christ, he got lied to for the best of time. Oh, that bit. I get it. Ten seconds, everybody. And then a lawyer and a TV personality running the country. Seriously? He's had worse. Five, four, three. Welcome back. And I'm told we can now go live to advance headquarters where the two leaders. Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury are about to make their acceptance address. Jeremy looks so bored. 
this is actually really good. So anything you can keep an eye on, you can actually listen to later on. That's really good. It's so green. Green? It's turquoise. Teal. It's so good how they've actually put this together. I'm really impressed. Not games done good. They're actually reacting as it's like a proper TV audience would as well, which is brilliant to see. I would have loved to be spat that water up by accident at one point. At least they get along in the top uh, corner by looks of it. I really like this. It's really cool to be able to see that though. Alright, uh, save and quit I guess. Anyway guys, this has been Not For Broadcast, given to me by Not Games. Holy hell, I have nothing bad to say about this and you guys heard how hard it was for me not to laugh at some points. I really, really enjoy this. And I will definitely get back to it because I, I said I've been given a DLC, so I need to check it out with you guys as well. Anyway, if you like the content I'm putting out, link to my coffee is in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye for now.